This video will be on making an alb and construction of it. The main body piece is 36 inches across. The length depends on the height of what you're making it for. You usually measure it from the neck down to the floor plus a hem. I'd like you to mark it eight inches in on both pattern pieces because this will be the shoulder seams. The front piece will have a depth of three inches for the neckline, but the back will not. The next piece will be the insert so Father can get, get it on, okay? The insert, its total length is 18 inches. The width is three inches. There's a half inch dip for the neckline and three quarters of an inch for the V at the bottom. You're going to be taking this pattern piece and cutting it out of linen, pin it into the center of the neckline front, front. and then you're going to draw a line down the center and a quarter inch on either side, one and a half inches from the bottom. Then you're going to sew along those outside lines, come down, turn, and go up. Sharp corners, okay? You're going to clip it down the center and come to the corners. If you have an embroidery scissor, they're nice and sharp, and then get these little corners precise. You're going to be turning it right side out, and you're going to be turning the edges and sewing them down. Here is a sample. Here's the stitch down here. When you press it, you press it toward the garment. Press that little piece toward the garment. So when you're turning it to the right side, you don't see the underneath part. Then you take this and you turn the edge and top stitch it. Here we have it here, top stitch it. And the bottom here, look, see how nice that turns? Okay. If you're daring, you can make it smaller, but I'm, I'm happy with the quarter inch. <laughs> but that's up to you. Now for the sleeves. We're going to be cutting out a cuff nine and three quarter inches long by five inches in depth and we're going to put it on the fold and we're going to cut out two of these. You cut out these cuffs and make them sometimes over the years the cuff really gets worn but the rest of the garment is not so you could always replace this piece. Now for the sleeve. This is the main body of the sleeve and the center of this sleeve will get attached to the shoulder. So it's going to be 24 and a half inches long, 16 inches in depth, nine and five eighths over here by the sleeve. And you're going to mark this here as the fold line. Then I want you to take the pattern and I'm from here, Measure 10 inches here, come down, put a mark 10 inches down. Over here, mark 17 inches, put a dot here at 11 inches. Start here, go 22 and a half, come down 13 inches. And then make the curve. And you'll need to cut two of these out. Now you're going to take the cuff and the cuff is going to get attached to the bottom of the sleeve. You're going to be, after you attach this, you're going to press the seam toward the cuff this time. And then you're going to turn it a quarter of an inch and top stitch it. Here it is here. This will be the cuff. This is the garment. 
You sew it. You gotta press it. Toe it the body. Because when you turn it, you don't want it to show. See, it doesn't show. Then you're going to turn this, top stitch it, and then stitch these side seams. Because you're going to be, later on, you're going to be putting the wrong sides together. And you're going to be stitching it. Look, look what happens to the cuff. See how it comes like that? So, stitch it down. Because you're going to be sewing it like this, turning it, pressing it, and sewing it again, doing a French seam. Okay. Now you can, um, you're going to sew those sides, the shoulder seams together to the main part, to the back, the front and back with the French seam. And then you can put a reinforcement on the top of that shoulder. The reinforcement can either be a rectangle or it can be something like this. You can choose which one depending on the thickness of the fabric and whether you think you can get all this fabric here into that neckline. It's a little tricky. But either way, you're going to have to fold to make sure that the ends aren't showing. Right? You're going to tuck them under and top stitch it. Okay, here is the one that I did. Here it is, I sewed this part into the shoulder seam here. The shoulder, the seam is under here, and I put it into the neckline. It's a little tricky to get all that in there, but you can do it. Now for the collar. We're gonna take the collar, and we're going to make it 20 inches across, Three inches down, you're going to mark it four and a half inches in on either side because from here to here will be the back seam attaching and this here will be the front. When you're done with it, you're going to turn these ends and top stitch it and this one of these two, whichever one you want, you're going to turn it a quarter of an inch and press it. It's going to get attached to the neckline by a top stitch. So you're going to take the main body of the back and you're going to put a gathering stitch. Here we are. This is the main piece of the back. Attach it at the shoulder seams and attach it at that four and a half inch mark. And you're going to gather. Remember the gathering stitch is the bottom stitch. That's the one you're going to pull. And you're going to not pull the top stitch because you're going to have to do it all over. It's going to lock it up. And I just keep dividing the main body of the back and keep dividing it up until I can fit it into those, in between those two spaces. Because you're going to be sewing the collar on. So remember where that's, where you turned it at the end so it's hidden underneath. Well, I guess if it's shown on top it wouldn't be the end of the world especially after you put all this work into it. But anyway, then you're going to gather it from the shoulder seam to the end of that insert and you're going to attach it to the collar. I don't from here to here, I don't gather it. I don't gather the, the, okay? So just the rest of it. So you attach that piece, and then after you attach the collar and top stitch it, then you're going to add the sleeves onto the main part of the garment. You sew wrong sides together, press it, turn the right sides together, put a seam in it, and press it again. 
Then you attach. You start at the sleeve, go all the way down to the bottom, and the French seam again as well. And then do the hem. You can make the strings for the tie out of twill tape, or you can use bias tape and fold it in half and top stitch it. If you decide to have a lace bottom, it takes two and a half yards of liturgical lace. I attach that lace together by hiding the end seams one into the other. And I'd sew them by hand. When I'm attaching the lace to the snap, I just turn it so the end of that lace is behind the snaps. And I do the same thing. Divide the lace evenly among the tape for the snaps. Make sure you pre-wash that tape. There is another video which will show you how to attach that uh, tape onto the fabric for the top. Good luck and good sewing.